Hey everyone, welcome to our lecture on the normal distribution and skewed data. Um, so this is a commonly tested concept on the uh, MBME exams. And honestly, it's very easy once you get the hang of it. So on the left-hand side of the page, we see a normal distribution, um, which is, you know, the basis for this is if you have a sample of patients and you're taking some measure, most patients are going to fall somewhere near the mean value or the average value. And as you get further and further away from the mean, it becomes less and less common for patients to have that value um, for whatever pa parameter you're measuring. For example, in the United States, I believe the average height of a, of a man is about five foot nine. So we know that most people are gonna fall around five foot six to maybe six feet tall. And it's very rare to find someone who's you know, under five feet tall or over seven feet tall, who's a man in the United States. And the normal distribution is basically just a conceptual way of thinking about that. And the way that it's commonly tested is they'll say, here's the sample with this sample mean and this sample standard deviation, you know, how many people from within the sample of however many patients will fall above or below some cutoff. And really what you need to know to get those questions correct is the 68, 95, 99.7% rule, which means that 68% of your data are gonna fall within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% of your data are gonna fall within two standard deviations of the mean, and 99.7% of your data are gonna fall within three standard deviations of the mean. And therefore, if you break it down, um, as I have on the left-hand side, we can see that from our mean value, if we go one standard deviation either direction, we have 68% of our data. So 34% on either side within one standard deviation of the mean. If you then move to two standard deviations of the mean, we see that captures an additional 13.5% of our data on either side such that we have 47.5% of our data to the left of the mean, 47.5% of our data to the right of the mean for a total of 95% of our data. And then if you go even one more standard deviation more to the left and right, we see that um, we now capture an additional 2.35% of our data on either side of the mean, such that we have 99.7% of our data. You know, and I've included a few practice questions after this lecture, which will give you practical um, a practical chance to actually apply this um, to a type of question that you'll see on the MBA and the exam. Another commonly tested concept related to the normal distribution is how our average value is biased in the setting of skewed data. So it's really important that actually when we say average, there are really three things that can fall under the umbrella of the term average, our mean, our median, and our mode. The mean is the one that people are most familiar with where we add all the values together and then divide by the total sample size to get you know, a mean value for you know, what was the average value, the mean value that um, was present in this population. But another average is the median, which is just the 50th percentile um, value and the mode, which is the most frequent value that's encountered. And one commonly tested concept related to these averages is that as you move from the mode to the median to the mean, those values are becoming increasingly biased by the skew. The mode is most resistant to skewed data and the mean is least resistant to skewed data. So for example, sometimes they'll show you a, um, gra you know, a, a skewed normal distribution such as the one below. You know, this is a positively skewed distribution, meaning rather than being nice and tight like the one on the left, we can see that more of our data falls to the right or in the positive direction than we would anticipate with a normal um, normal distribution. So we can see if they drew three lines and asked which one's the mode, which one's the median, which one's the mean. The mean, because it's the most affected by the skew, would be furthest to the right. The median would be next, and the mode would be most to the, most to the left because it's the least um, affected by the skew. Um, so normal distribution and skewed data comes up over and over again on the test. This is really the two most common ways that it'll actually be tested. And as always, I recommend that you try the associated practice questions um, because those will show how you can apply these concepts to real MBME style questions. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.